Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all of you to join me and listen to this session. I hope you find this session is helpful and maybe give you a little bit more information you need. Um, I'm Fan Yimeng. I'm a lecturer from Lincoln College in UK. Uh, my course of bachelor degree acupuncture is validated by University of Lincoln and Open University, and I'm the same lecturer. Today's topic is the factual point from classic to modern practice. The topic has been in my uh, presentation for several years in the past few years, uh, past few years in an international conference. Why I'm going to choose this topic again is because recently, due to the newspaper report of pneumothorax uh, caused by acupuncturists to a famous athletic, and the safety and the use of acupuncture on the back become a hot discussion topic again. And I would like to use this opportunity to review what had been said in the Asian document and what is my suggestion and the useful tips in the future practice. So therefore you can use the backshoe point more effectively with less risk. So the key point in today's presentation, including the backshoe point in the classics, including internal classic, difficult classic, pulse classics, and acupuncture classics. And the different method of stimulation the factual point, starting from the internal classic, the arch method. And the modern state understanding about why factual point is so effective and its biological link have been clearly uh, researched and the evidence suggests the segmental control of the spinal nerve could be the best explanation why factual point is working and the safety study myself and from other scholars and my personal experience how to stimulate the factual point with the minimum risk and the possibly best effect. Uh, the basic definition of factual point came from internal classic in the second part, the acupuncture classic, Ling Shu or spiritual period in the chapter 51, the title of the, the chapter is the back shoe. In this chapter, five back shoe points corresponding to the five zone organs were recorded and described, including their location. Uh, there was no other back shoe point mentioned clearly. The stimulation method was using Max Bushing only. Okay. From that time, people already realized needle in the back shoe point could be quite risky. And Max Bushen is the safe method of stimulating. And it suited the purpose of the treatment. We discuss this later. No needle. It made clear there was no needle. And in another chapter, in the internal classic, in the Su Wen, the chapter of House of Qi, it mentioned the name of the five zone organ spectral point and the sixth full organ spectral point. But it didn't provide detail. It's easy to understand. It just mentioned those spectral points are good point of treating the zone and the full disorder. And it took more than thousand years to make the spectral point theory and the practice into a total system or a completed system. In the Pulse Classic, some more backshoe point added to the list and with more location. Uh, however, it's still not complete. And there are many other points added in the acupuncture classic, or we call the AB classic or acupuncture and the Max Bushen. 
Uh, however, at that time, the location of the Baxu Pond was still open for debate until the Song Dynasty. It was finally agreed. The Baxu Pond are on the first back pathway of the blood channel, which is one and a half swing from the lateral, uh, from, lateral from the spine. And that was finally agreed. The clinical application of Baxu Pond was also generally agreed. It was centered for the tonify purpose and particularly the five zone organ. And according to the difficult class, when the zone organ become weak, we should tonify the zone organ with the back shoe point. When the four organs are weak, we should tonify the four organ with the front move point. And the explanation or rationale behind it, the zone organ are in organ. And they need a young balance. The young balance come from the young connection to the backside of the body. The backside of our body is a young place and covered with the blood channel and the dual channel. And the blood and the dual channel are both young channel. So that provides the best help for the zone organ. And while contrary to that, the full organ are the young organ, and the young organ should have a yin balance. So the abdomen should be the best place, then the front move point should be the best point of tonify the full organ. And this was the principle using the back shoe point. And there are various discussions in internal classic, including the techniques of stimulating the back shoe point and how we use spectral point in different situations. Uh, those are the list you could read it yourself. And the principle for the down organs to be used in spectral point rather than the full, uh, rather than full organs have been further discussed in several parts. And this is the list. Uh, on the left side, those in green color are the back shoe point of the five zone organ, and they are at the center of the back shoe point idea and theory. And they should always be the center of the acupuncture point selection, even for example, if the full organ, like the goblet problem, we should choose the goblet with a paired organ, which is the liver together. Again, if it's a stomach, and we choose the stomach point with the spleen point together. And the back shoe point were also recommended to be practiced in clinical practice, not with the fixed location. According to three parts of the internal classic, the back shoe point should be best located using practitioner's finger and apply acupressure and the skill of searching usher point to find the best location. Say, for example, in the Ling Shu's 5 e chapter, it said, if we press the point and the patient finds it's tender and feel a relief of the tension or relief of the bad emotion or bad things, then this point is the right point of the back shoe point, which means we should not simply rely on the measurement against the spine. And again, this has been said in another chapter, Su Wen's Bone Space, Gu Kong. It said, when we find the back shoe point, we need to look at if the back shoe point is showing a downward curve or a depression. And this means the zone organ is hollow or the zone organ is weak. And then in another chapter, it said, when uh, we are treating mental health issues, if the patient feel better on the pressure of the point, then this is the right back shoe point, rather than simply rely on the standard location. And the back shoe point has been also been confused by many practitioners from the internal classic 
because in internal classic, some part actually mentioned Jiaji, but they haven't provided many details. Jiaji looks like very similar to the Baekshu point. However, in the Ming dynasty, this has been finalized and the Jiaji point have been clearly defined as a point lined up on the side of acupuncture point uh, on the side of the spine. It should be half twin to one twin lateral. And this has been formally recognized in 1950, written in the national textbook. Uh, based on the discussion of the Huatu Jiaji and the Baekshu point, many practitioners now realize uh, the Baekshu point is maybe have no standard location in the clinical practice if we have a broad view of the dual channel, the Huatu Jiaji, the Baekshu point, and also very, very importantly, the blood channel have a second line or second pathway along the back. Look at this. The dual channel is along the spine and the half turn to one turn lateral are the Huatu Jiaji point. Then three, then one half turn lateral are the back through point. And there is a second line of the blood channel, which is the three turn lateral. They are, there are point treating our five emotions, uh, uh, five mental power and emotions. They are named as Shen Hun Po Yi Zhi. So therefore, the Shen Hun Po Yi Zhi are also the function of the five zone organ. So therefore, at the same level of the five zone point, at the center it is the dual channel point for the same purpose. And then Jiaji point for the same purpose. And then outside are the three turn points. They are also for the same point. There is a possibility we could actually place needles in the seven location. Okay, one do and two jaji, two back shoe point and two second line point all together to maximum the clinical treatment effect. So according to many practitioners, if the patient has the problem centered in the mental health issue, and we should actually not simply using the back shoe point of the thumb, but also the second line. So we have discussed the ancient classic and all this kind of the record and uh, the suggestion. Uh, the suggestion is focusing on the five zone organ for tonify the zone organs. Okay. Now we come to more the understanding why the back shoe point working very well. Uh, the biological understanding is number one, we are based on the spinal nerve. The spinal nerve has its root and ganglions, and all the back shoe points are located near the root of the spinal nerve on both sides of the spinal vertebrae. And all the spinal nerve are nerves controlling the section of the body, including the surface, which is the skin, and the internal organs. And the spinal nerve have both sensor nerve and the motor nerve. And the sensor nerve can pass signal to the brain, to the central nerve system for adjusting our body's condition. And also the motor nerve can have a direct stimulating signal to the corresponding internal organ. And this is the idea of segmental distribution of the spinal nerve on the surface. And then this segmental idea was clearly uh, have this evolutional root, which means when we were in the fetus stage, the segmental, sec segmental section was simply developed. And the segmental not only related to the skin, but also related to the internal organ. Have a look. Those are the internal organs controlled by the spinal nerves. Uh, very, very interestingly, uh, we can see one organ might be controlled by three spinal nerves or even longer or long, not more than that. For example, the digestive system is controlled by one, two, three, four, five. And that is the simple, but they are not unique one-to-one. -one. They cross over. How this cross over happen? 
This is the ganglia. The ganglia make a compensation if one spinal nerve is not working. And this is a illustration of the ganglia. Uh, now we come to practical point in terms of stimulation. So actually before the Ming dynasty, most scholars agreed for, with the internal classic, Max Barton, not needling. And since Ming dynasty, with the caution, many of the practitioners suggest needling the backshoe point with the shallow needling of only half swing, obliquely inserting into the skin. And then in my practice, I saw practitioner and myself using herbal stimulation on the backshoe point, cupping, electric, and the cold laser. They are all working well. In the past five years, there were situations of pneumothorax caused by so-called acupuncture practitioner. I don't know the detailed information, but they are all needling the chest. And some of them actually claiming they are needling the backshoe point. So therefore the safety safety concern of needling the back shoe point is on high demand. And many people would suggest to go back to the classic using other stimulation rather than acupuncture needle. Uh, therefore, we need to be aware and we need to study why pneumothorax could happen. Not every practitioner has the intention to puncture the lung. They all have some knowledge and I believe they didn't want the needle to touch the lung. And why, even with safety concern, there is still incident happening. And one of the study, one of the studies suggests when our needle tip go into the muscular layer, our muscle then start to react on this foreign body and keep massaging it. I think basically the massage of the muscle aimed to push the needle out of body but it's not always successful. And we can observe in our practice, when we needle some acupuncture point and the needle go into the muscular layer, after 10 minutes, we left the needle there. When we come back, we find the needle might go deep, might be grabbed and the needle start happen. And sometimes the needle goes shallow. And this is the common phenomenon we observe. So therefore there is always a risk. The needle is sucked in by the muscle. And I'm borrowing some pictures from other textbooks to show you what is the anatomic structure of the back shoe point. In this picture, I use this uh, blue purplish dot to show you where is the back shoe point. This is the spine, and this is the back shoe point, and this is the chest cavity. Uh, you can see below the back shoe point, there is always a layer of muscle. Thick or thin, but always a layer of muscle. And usually, if we choose the back shoe point at the right level, and we could actually touch a nerve. And if we choose the what we judge point here, we could actually touch the posterior ramus of the spinal nerves back branch. And this will have a direct effect going into our nerve system. And this is how things go wrong if the needle punctures the muscle layer and further go into the chest. That causes pneumothorax. And this actually doesn't suggest a good treatment result. And from here, we can see the yellow colored pathway. That are the nerve pathway. Actually, we only stimulate the muscle, but not stimulate the nerve. So ideally, how do we do the needle stimulation? And if we don't do the Huatua Jia Ji, we could choose an oblique angle, and the angle, when it's in the right, go just shallowly into the muscle, or touch the surface of muscle. And the needle have a strong possibility of causing the muscular reaction and the nerve reaction. And this reaction could both pass to the spinal nerve, then correspondingly, some change in the internal organ. And about the scale of needling into the muscle, uh, in the internal classic is also made clear in the Ling Shu Wei Qi chapter. It said when we needle 
into the muscle. We always have to be patient, waiting the body's response. And we should feel the response below our needle tip. And when we needle it, depend on our purpose of treatment. We're needling the excess when the chi is full, which means when we are going to reduce, we feel the needle is gripped by the muscle and we feel the resistance, we do the manipulation. But when we are stimulating the five zone organ for the deficiency, we wait until the muscle is relaxed. Needling the deficient when the chi is away from the point, which means there is no push and the grab, grasping or our needle tape. That is the time we do gentle manipulation. The tension is gone. In my personal practice, I intend to shallow needle and the needle tape just touch the muscle or get into the muscle tiny bit. And to help treatment result, I use heat lamp, electric puncture, and the cupping. And when I use electric puncture, I use the lower frequency. Okay, the frequency is one to two hertz. And sometimes we use the back point for local pain, for local muscular tension. In this situation, I use a different needling skill. I use the cross needling. And this is the method, the needle are moving in opposite direction and going cross over to each other below the skin, but never going into the muscle. And the cross needling is always connected to the electric stimulator and we can achieve the best result. Corresponding to the modern studies and ancient studies of the judging point, the horizontal section, and the ganglion connection, my personal experience is for tonify, to reach the best purpose, I always choose three acupuncture points. The backshoe point of the zone organ, we need to, in, we need to improve, and one vertebrae up, one vertebrae down. And this is influenced by my teachers and by the reading, and I found the three points working together have the best effect. And if it's for local pain and stiffness, I also have another idea. Another idea is based on the spinal nerve and the ganglia. I will always choose a backshoe point, three vertebrae up. And this is also from an internal classic idea. According to one, uh, according to two of the chapters of internal classic, actually the counting of the backshoe point should be starting with the T3. So therefore, actually what we are locating the point is three vertebrae below this chapter's idea. And I found this idea is working extremely well. So I choose the point three vertebrae up toward the head. And with this add needle, and this needle needs only to go through the skin, not go deep. Okay, uh, another method I'm using herbal pills, uh, using the kineo tape. Stick the herbal heel pills on the back shoe point. Um, but we patient is given the advice, this tape and the pill can stay there until the next time they have a good shower. Because usually the kineo tape stay there very well, even with the shower. So usually suggest patient to keep it for up to five days. Okay, that is the content of my presentation. I hope you can have some kind of useful uh, information from here. Thank you all for your attending and for your patience. And that's all of my session. And see you again.